I really believe 3D printing is a good technique for producing ceramic design, but if I'm going to do stuff that's really impressive, I need to be able to do larger designs. I've been trying to work out how to print big pieces for ages. A big printer is so slow, I want to print it fast. Rather than one part on a big printer, I want to part lots of little parts. Printed it all on a little printer, both of them to get leather hard and stick them together. It's a really good method to join parts, but with a large design like this, it would be very difficult to get to work. The weight would likely pull the parts apart, and anyway, once they're joined together, I don't think they'd fit in the kiln. So I'm not going to join them together with slip. I was getting really interested in 3D printing for construction, and I was looking into post-tension in concrete. The tension cables, they're threaded through the concrete and then tightened. So I thought, how can I do that? Suddenly thought, why can't I just do the spirograph pattern using geometry nodes in Blender? Anyway, luckily I googled and Arendelle's already done a tutorial. The method I chose to use was cables and they can be really tightly secured. That means they can carry a lot more weight than if they were joined with mortar. What have I done? <laughs> yes, exactly. This model's got no mortar holding it together. This model's just held together with tension wires. Got a really tight fit. Print it all on one little printer, a 10-part tentacle 